film transverse abdominis and the core muscles, we're going to use the curved probe, which gives us a frequency of usually between about 2 megahertz and 5 megahertz. So we're just going to press this button here and that'll let us change to the convex transducer. Okay, here we are. So probe positioning is just above the iliac crest in basically the mid axillary line. We've got the left hand side of the screen or this little dot on the middle here uh, pointing to the midline and we're going to reverse that when we go onto the other side just so that we can get the exact mirror image for comparison purposes. So we come back to the screen here, we're going to be able to see, we'll just zoom in a little bit so we'll get our depth and we're going to adjust that. Quite good there, so we're at depth of six centimeters. Our frequency at the moment is on 5.5, so we'll just have a quick play with the frequency here to see if we can change that to get a clearer image. So, if we increase the frequency a little bit, we're getting higher definition but a little bit less power. Um, but I think that that's actually pretty good. We might just increase the gain a little bit there to adjust for that. Okay. So in this position, if we were to come a little bit further into the midline, we can see rectus abdominis here. And if we come a little bit further out, we can see external oblique, internal oblique, and transverse abdominis. Uh, and for Ben here, they're all in fairly good proportion. So if we're going to have a look at measuring this, and we're going to have a look at assessing the muscles here, what we can do is we can just freeze the screen. So we're going to have the mid portion of the muscle bellies around about middle of the screen. Um, we can have a look at the quality of the muscle in this position, so you can see that it's nice and dark, um, probably a little bit larger in the internal and external obliques than it is in the transverse abdominis, but again, compared to most people, this is actually quite good. From here, if we want to, what we can do, come back to our image, unfreeze it, and again, with the muscle bellies in the middle of the frame here, what I'm going to ask Ben to do is just to extend his right leg, just straighten out that right leg for me, and bring it back up. And one more time. And what we're looking for here is to see which muscles are activating, and if the transverse abdominis in particular is turning on. So just go again one more time for me, Ben. And relax. So, in that particular contraction, transverse abdominis didn't slide at all, and it certainly didn't appear to be any thicker than it was to begin with. We had only a small amount of activation in the internal oblique. So what we can ask Ben to do is to try drawing the belly button to try and get a transverse abdominis contraction. So just do that for me. Thank you. And relax. And you can see the TRA turning on and just sliding away from this point in the middle. Can you just go one more time for me? and relax again. That's a nice contraction. So what we might do now is get Ben to switch on the transverse abdominis again so that that slides across. And now keep in it there, try straightening out the right leg. And almost immediately it, it switches off and come back up. So we could use this uh, visual feedback and try and get that uh, muscle activation working properly with a uh, straight leg raise for example. The other thing that we can do is a, a fallout, so I'll get you to just switch on your transverse abdominis again. Okay, and just let your right knee drop out towards the bed, holding it there. So that's probably a little bit less advanced, and I think you're doing that a lot better as well. Okay, and come on. And just relax everything again. Other thing that we can do in this position is we can look at BB mode. So we can have two images next to each other. So here we can have, we might even have to zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so this is with Ben relaxed. And that'll give us a split screen by pressing BB again. And I'll just get you to contract now for me, Ben. And I'm going to freeze that there. So in this freeze mode here, if we wanted to, we could have a look at measuring uh, let's have a look here. 
transverse abdominis, distance, and we're just going to measure the thickness if we wanted to have a uh, quantitative measure. Compared to on this side, So a difference of 4.25 millimetres compared to 4.52 millimetres when it's contracted. So we could use that later, or if you won't get in a proper contraction, we could use that to measure things.